Absolutely not what we wanted to see. Kanisi clearly got a problem. It happened to him in 2015. And what a huge disappointment this is. Just when it looked like he was starting to get back into contention. The pre-race favourite is not going to win here in Dubai. What a shame. And he's not even going to finish by the looks of it, Trevor. So um, there's very much a Dubai curse on Kenanisa Bekele. Dropped out here at 30k two years ago. And um, he hasn't even got to, uh, to, to 30k. Just, uh, just past halfway, in fact. It must be so frustrating. You see him just holding that. Is it the, the left thigh or somewhere around that region? But... I mean, the problem is, if, if there is an issue, you don't, want to, you, want to, you don't want to do further damage. Not at the start of the season. Indeed not. It's a huge, huge disappointment. You know, when he announced uh, relatively late in the day, a couple of weeks ago, he was going to be running here, the interest in the world of athletics was absolutely immense. But unfortunately, it looks as if uh, Kenanisa Bekele is having to drop out of Dubai for the, the second time in three years. Well, they have superb medical facilities here. They'll look after him very well, but for them also, despite the smiles, they were hoping to cheer this guy across the line in about an hour's time. And they won't be doing that. It is that left, that uh, right thigh. Well, as soon as we find out what's wrong, we'll uh, we'll let you know, obviously. But um, well, like the the silly Ethiopians in contention, both uh, the men's and women's races. So the crowd will certainly have something to cheer. But uh, huge, huge disappointment here in Dubai this morning with Kenanisa Bekele, as you see him there, having to drop out of the Sunday Charlie Dubai Marathon yet again. I suppose that is one of the problems as you as you get older the injuries become more regular but uh, as I say we'll bring you any details we get in terms of uh, his medical issues but this is the front with the pacemaker leading from Lema Tola and was he in fourth at the moment effectively third obviously because Caputo is not going to be on the podium and they're well over halfway now in this 2017 Dubai Marathon. And it's a hard one to call because uh, Tamarat Tola looking pretty strong too. Now these three guys look uh, very good. We've lost Mekinen, incidentally. The, the guy who, when he heard that Bekele was running, asked if he could uh, come and run again here. And when we see the gap to the chasing group, I think it'll, uh, it, it will tell us whether these are going to be the uh, the three men on the podium. Well, that's a surprise, isn't it, that, that Mekinen's been dropped? Because as soon as Bikaini dropped out, you'd immediately kind of install Mekinen as, uh, as the favourite, but not the case, and the gap is uh, significant, as you can see. Yes, that's, that's huge at this stage of the race. And the fact that you've got uh, you've got three guys following the pacemaker here, that's still a very very good pace. And we'll uh, and there is the uh, the unfortunate Kenanisa Bekele. Wait, waiting for transport to uh, bring him back to the finish area and to some uh, medical help.